Sustainability and research technology projects that we have at the NPTC, uh, we do a lot of water modeling, we do a lot of workshops, we do a lot of temperature calibration and research on farms to help growers uh, use those technologies and those houses to the best of their ability for efficiency and sustainability. A lot of these technologies are in life critical situations, so we're growing birds in the house, we have humans in the house, and so when technologies fail, it's, it can be catastrophic, and so whatever technologies we adopt have to be you know, safe for the birds, they have to be cost effective for the growers, and, and, and then meet uh, whatever the consumer demands is. To grow the best bird uh, at the most efficient cost inputs, it takes a lot of research, it takes a lot of efficiency, and it takes a lot of uh, education and training to be able to utilize that. Over the years, technology has allowed genetic companies to improve genetics from the smaller birds we saw in the 1950s to the larger birds that we have today. Uh, we have a lot of savvy growers that are early adopters of technology. Approximately 80% or more of the houses across the U.S. have environmental controllers, and so that takes all the data in and we're able to make decisions on, on that data. We've got a variety of tools that we use to take data so that we can make decisions, and that's anywhere from wind speed measurement tools thermal infrared cameras, uh, water meters looking at flow rates, same from the feeding systems. Uh, we auger out exact amount of feeds down the house so that they get what they need, but we don't have a lot of spillage across the house. Well, one example of a new technology that Auburn has developed uh, is a smartphone app uh, that helps producers uh, calculate minimum ventilation settings. Originally, the uh, program was at, on a computer uh, I was challenged by a female producer that had to drive home off of her farm to run the calculation and then return to the farm to implement those settings into her controller. That producer challenged me in today's technologies to design an app where she could use those calculations and make those adjustments on her farm and not have to leave. The poultry industry has a bright future in technology and sustainability. Uh, I would love to see more per capita chicken consumption. Uh, in the future for the poultry industry. It's already the cheapest protein. Uh, a lot of people consume it in the U.S. and I would love for that production to stay in the U.S. through technology and sustainability uh, with partnership at Auburn. As I graduated high school, my dad built a poultry farm. I was there during construction. I was there during whenever they first placed birds on that farm. And I wasn't really at that time interested in working in the poultry industry, but I was interested in the construction and ways to improve construction, ways to improve the equipment, the installation. Uh, so when I came to Auburn, I wasn't actually interested in it, but it, I kind of feel like it picked me. So I chose to get into engineering livestock housing um, because I, I was raised on a farm uh, from the beef cattle side. Uh, there was a lot of uh, potential for improvements growing up. Um, I got into poultry because from an engineering standpoint, we could make a big impact. 